All right, what's going on, everybody? Jeff back here with another Have a Head beer review. Tonight we've got a uh, California beer. This is Port Brewing's Mongo India Pale Ale. So, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but that right there is a cat surfing on a label. And then, so if you read the description on the label, it's basically brewed to commemorate um, the gray brewing cat that they had, um, and. Uh, and it got the nick, uh, and it had the nickname uh, Mongo, and it says to commemorate his fleeting existence, we created Mongo, an IPA with a resinous, bolder, and more robust hop character than a traditional West Coast IPA. So got this one in a trade, and it's not the freshest, but um, it's about a little bit more than a month old, a month and a week, we'll say. Um, so super fresh for being on the East Coast, and this is from California, but um, I'm really excited to try this one, um, so let's just go ahead and get to Port Brewing Company uh, bottle cap. All right, this beer has got to be bottle conditioned because that has got three and a half, almost four fingers of a really, really frothy, foamy head. Um, Beautiful light orange, uh, copper, golden color, tons and tons of carbonation streaming up off the bottom. Um, really, really light colors towards the bottom, almost yellow where the the light's getting through it the most. Uh, and then yeah, more of an orange or a copper, not sli not yet copper, but like a dark golden color. Um, really pretty looking, um, hazy as hell. Um, so it's got a good hop haze going on. Um, just looks like a great double IPA. Uh, I'm going to wait for the head to go down a little bit before uh, we give this one a smell. All right, I've been waiting for a couple minutes, and the head still hasn't gone down, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, give it a smell. Super citrusy up front, like you would expect from a West Coast IPA. Um, I'm getting a lot more pineapple and tropical fruits in this one than some of the other ones. Uh, and then it's actually got a good uh, piney earthiness, too, um, <clears throat> which I enjoy, and a slight sweetness. Yeah, slight malt sweetness. That's pretty. It smells really good, though. Yeah, just super... It's like hop juice, super citrusy and hoppy like you would expect from a, a West Coast IPA. All right, let's go ahead and give this one a taste. Cheers. Right up front, you're getting a citrusy bitterness, and it's given away to a really good um, malty body. Um, it's a lot sweeter than uh, some of the IPAs that I've had um, from California, but it's uh, it's really good, and it actually is uh, more balanced than some of the other ones that I've had. Um, Kind of a dry aftertaste, and uh, it's it's pretty piney. It's kind of lingering on my tongue a little bit. I'm getting some soap, uh, so I don't know if it, you guys have had this one, um, if you got that at all, but that's slightly off-putting. Um, but other than that, it's pretty smooth uh, tasting. Yeah, I'm getting a lot more pine just lingering on the tongue. That's that's kind of off-putting. That's one of the problems that I have, I say, with a lot of those IPAs, is that they're just, they've got a like, good citrus hop flavor initially, but then it gives way to like, this massive bitterness that just, like, kind of like lingers on your tongue. Yeah, so I was just, yeah, it, it's it's really bitty, bitter, but it's got a lot of good flavor too and uh, and sweetness. So I'm going to let this one warm up a little bit and then I'll uh, give you guys my final verdict. All right, guys, I'm back with the Mongo from Port Brewing uh, out of San Diego County, uh, California. <clears throat> um, as this warms up, I'm starting to like it more. The tropical fruits are coming through a little bit more and the pineiness has started to uh, to fade. It still is very prevalent and it still is super dry, but it's not as lingering and off-putting as it was initially. Um, but they said that they went out to create a, uh, a resinous, bold, and robust uh, beer, and they definitely hit the head on that one. Super resinous um, with, the, with the pine resin towards the end, and it's just got a very robust hop flavor. I I'm going to go with A- minus on this one. Uh, cause it is smooth, but it's just, it's just not as flavorful as I think that it could be, or maybe once was, I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll probably give this one another shot if I get, uh, get the opportunity to. Um, I do really enjoy this one and it's really super easy drinking and I'm really glad that they bottle conditioned this one. I think that that adds a whole nother, uh, level and a character to it with, um, smoothing the body out and just making it, uh, a little bit creamier in the mouthfeel. Um, so this has been uh, Mongo from Poor Brewing for me. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another beer review. Cheers.